Abraham Lincoln. Slave, slave, buy a slave. Mommy, Daddy, I'm scared. Oh, baby. Oh no, I want to free these slaves. The boy is Abraham Lincoln. Long ago in the USA, black people were slaves. Lincoln hated slavery. I will become the president and stop slavery. People liked Lincoln because he was kind and smart. He became the 16th president of the USA. Slavery is wrong. Never hate people by their skin color. People in the South hated Lincoln's words. It was because they had more slaves. I don't like Lincoln. I need workers. One day, they started war. Boom! Poof! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Help me! Finally, Lincoln and the North won the war. The slaves could be free now. All slaves are free! We are not slaves anymore. We are free! Hooray! <laughs> Lincoln helped develop the USA in many ways. He is still respected by many people today. Solomon Once upon a time, there lived a king named Solomon. Solomon was the king of Israel. His people called him the king of wisdom. People went to him when they had problems. Why have you come to me? Not long ago, we both had babies. But when that woman's baby died, she stole my baby. <laughs> no, she's lying. It's my baby. The two women were fighting. Hmm. I think it's the left one. No, the right one. King Solomon, please tell us who the real mother is. <sighs> there is one baby, but two mothers. Hmm. King Solomon thought deeply. Hey, you. Cut that baby in half, then give it to each of them. The soldier picked up a big, sharp knife. The two women and people were shocked when he was about to cut the baby in half. Stop! My king, I will give up the baby. Just give it to her. <laughs> I told you, it's mine. But then King Solomon said, Give this baby to that woman. No parent wants to hurt their baby. The woman who saved her baby is the real mother. <gasps> Thank you, my king! People were surprised by King Solomon's wisdom. Wherever they went, they talked about him. King Solomon's stories of wisdom are still told today. Albert Schweitzer In Africa, there were no doctors. One day, new people visited an African village. They built a small hospital. 
Everyone, please come here. I am a doctor. They were Schweitzer and his people. What is a doctor? I don't know. Come on, take this pill. Mommy, I'm not sick anymore. Really? Doctor, please help me too. Me too! Me too! Even the child with a weak leg could run now. Dr. Schweitzer, thank you so much. You are our hero! <laughs> I'm just doing my work. Africa was very hot. There were not enough food and clothes. There were also many bugs and scary animals. One by one, the others left Africa. However, Schweitzer stayed in Africa for 40 years to help people. When money came in, he bought medicine. He moved people's hearts. Many people respected Schweitzer. He received the Nobel Peace Prize. Schweitzer spent the rest of his life helping sick people. Wangari Matai Oh no! What happened? Wangari was surprised when she came back. The beautiful forest disappeared. Trees were cut down to make factories. It was hard to see animals. There was no water to drink. People were thirsty. It hasn't been raining. Everything dried up. Wangari was so sad. She began to tell people. Please listen. This is how trees help us. We have to plant trees. Wangari began to plant trees with many people. Even when trees died, Wangari didn't give up. One day, the government tried to cut down all the trees. Get out! I will send you to jail! Wangari was put in jail. Many people were impressed by Wangari. Wangari is right! She just tried to plant trees! We will help her too! Let's plant trees! Let's make our land green! Tree planting campaigns were spreading over the world. This became the Green Belt Movement. At last, 51 million trees were planted in Africa. Animals came back and people were able to get water. Wangari received a Nobel Peace Prize. She continued the movement until she died. People named her the Mother of Trees. Louis Braille That's a lie! <laughs> yeah! How can you read? 
read if you are blind. Everyone, it's not a lie. Then read this book. A man stood up and read a book. A blind man who heard this made holes into paper. He gave the paper to his blind friend. The friend touched the paper and read it out loud. People were so surprised. It was the same text from the book. <gasps> what? How can you read some dots? These dots are used by many blind people to read and write. The dots are called Braille. The person who made this is Louis Braille. He was blind, but wanted to read many books. But the books for the blind were too heavy and hard to read. <sighs> he also couldn't write anything. Uh, is there a good idea? One day, he touched some secret codes used by soldiers. What is this? We make holes into paper with a tool. Then we can read this code. Yes, this is it. Lewis then created Braille for the blind. Braille was introduced to a lot of people. Now, blind people could read and write. Braille became very popular and is still used today. Father Lee Tessa. <laughs> oh, my stomach. Oh dear, take this medicine. Father, my child is sick too. Let's see, he needs a shot. Tanj is a small town in Africa. There were many sick people because of a long war, but there was no hospital or doctor. Father Lee Tesok wanted to help these people, so he built a hospital in the village. He did his best to take care of the sick. Father Lee Tesok wanted to heal the people's hearts too, through music. He taught children how to play instruments. Put your hand here and blow. A band was finally made in Tanj. Guys, are you ready? All right. One, two. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. With his signal, the band started to play. At first, people were surprised and curious. But soon, they all started to dance. Wow! <laughs> the people's hearts moved. Father Lee Tesok had been helping the people of Tanj for eight years. But after some time, he became very sick and died. The people of Tanj were so sad. They followed his dream by helping others. Father Lee Tesok's love is still spreading today. Marie Curie. <coughs> uh, honey, take a rest. Marie Curie was a scientist. 
She loved science very much. Ah,、uh, cold. My hands are frozen. The Curies were very poor, but they never stopped studying. Huh? What's this? Marie Curie first found radium. The Curies were so happy. People were surprised with the new finding. Oh, look at this! Amazing! Wow! It even shines! Wow! One day, Marie Curie's husband Pierre died in an accident. Marie Curie was so sad. Oh, sweetheart! Don't leave me. Pierre was also her workmate, so this broke her heart even more. But Marie Curie didn't give up studying radium. She was still curious, so she studied every night. Hmm, what's so special about radium? Shall I try this? She showed many findings to the world. She was respected by many people. Marie Curie won two Nobel prizes. Later, radium saved many people's lives. Her studies helped develop science and medicine. Neil Armstrong. Wow! A spaceship began to fly high into the sky. In there was Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is the first man to visit the moon. Neil Armstrong always loved airplanes since he was a child. I'm going to become a pilot. He studied hard and became an amazing pilot. One day, Neil Armstrong read a newspaper. Looking for an astronaut. They're looking for an astronaut. That's it. I'm going to outer space. Neil Armstrong joined NASA, a place that studies space. He received hard training, but he didn't give up and tried hard. At last, Neil Armstrong's spaceship blasted off to the moon. Look, I can see the moon. That's incredible. Neil Armstrong set the first foot on the moon. Step by step, he bounced up and down. The first trip to the moon was successful. We made it. Many people on Earth started dreaming of going to outer space. Me too. I want to go to space. I want to become an astronaut when I grow up. People are still doing research about outer space. Neil Armstrong is remembered as the first human to walk on the moon. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Marco Polo. Marco. Let's go to China together. Marco Polo's father was an Italian merchant. He took Marco to China. China was very far away. It wasn't well known in Italy. Marco was curious about China.
Father, it's too far. I'm tired. Marco, we're almost there. Marco finally arrived in China. His eyes were wide open. There were a lot of interesting things. And people looked different. The Emperor of China invited Marco to the palace. So, you are from far away. How is it there? Tell me. Marco told the Emperor about his hometown. The Emperor of China liked him. <laughs> Interesting. You should look around our country. Marco traveled all over China and saw many things. What a fancy pattern! The buildings look interesting. He lived in China for 17 years. I would like to go back to my hometown. Marco went back to Italy with joy. But his hometown was at war. Boom! You, come here. Ugh. Marco was locked into prison. There, he met a rider. I've been to China. There were so many amazing things. Oh, really? Marco, let me turn your story into a book. The book about Marco's time in China is The Travels of Marco Polo. Even today, his book helps us study history. Godfred Kirk Christensen <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> My tower! Hmm, can't there be toy bricks that don't fall? He is Godfred Kirk Christensen, who made toy Lego bricks. A long time ago, toy bricks didn't stick together. It kept falling apart. One day, Godfred had a good idea. Yes, that's it. Look. There's a hole in the brick. Put it together. Wow! I want to make a train. I'm going to build an amusement park. Thanks to Godfred, children could build everything with Lego bricks. But Godfred wished children to have more fun with Lego bricks. How can Lego help children imagine more? With Lego bricks, we can build towers, parks, and more. Later, Lego movies were made. Even Legoland opened in many countries. Children and adults can enjoy Lego together. Godfred worked hard to make fun toys for children. 
Lego bricks are still loved all over the world.